The next example is a somewhat deceptively uh, simple example. Um, and the reason that this tends to trip people up is the second line. So the first line is pretty simple. I'm just taking the number 16 and assigning it to a variable called a number. But in the next line, I do kind of a weird thing. I say a number equals a number plus one. Now, if you're into algebra, you will be scratching your head going, wait a minute, how can a number be equal to itself plus one? That's impossible, right? Well, the thing that you have to remember is that the equal sign is not the equivalence operator. The equal sign is the assignment operator. So what this really does is it takes whatever number you put into the variable a number and adds one to it and then takes that answer and assigns it back into the same variable that it was in before. So we're basically, instead of putting it in a different variable, we're reusing this variable by putting the answer back into this uh, the variable that we uh, used in the operation here. So it will take the number 16, add one to it, and then the value of a number is gonna be 17. So this is actually, so if, we, if you wanted to just describe in words like what does this code do, you could say this is an incrementer code. It takes whatever number that you put in and increments it by one. It makes it be one bigger. And it turns out um, there's actually, an, this is such a useful thing that there's actually a shorthand way of doing that. Um, if you say a number equals plus, it means it will take whatever the value of a number was, add one to it, and then put that uh, amount back into the same variable again. So if I run this, whoops, I got it backwards. It's plus equals, not equals plus. There we go. 25 incremented is 26.